Hi everyone, I'm JJ, and today me and Mikey are watching TV. Today my favorite cartoons are on. Yeah, that's my favorite cartoons too. It's a cartoon about two friends who are always finding new adventures. I love them so much. Look at them, they're always so funny, aren't they? What do you think, JJ? Are they funny? Whatever you say, Mikey. I think we should ask our parents to let us go outside and play. I'm getting bored with TV. Yeah, it's a salty day, so I guess the parents will let us play a little. Cool, let's go. I don't want to waste another minute. Yeah, well, I'm on my way. I thought we could walk around town, maybe even meet someone or just play ball in the yard. Whatever, we'll handle everything. We're finally home. We have so much to do and I'm already tired. Don't worry, we'll make it. Hey kids, how are you doing? Hi mom, dad. Can we go outside? Me and Mikey want to go out for a little walk today. It's a nice day. Yeah, JJ's got it right. I think they can go for a walk. Yes. But I hope you did all your homework and didn't make a mess of your room. Yeah? Yeah, we did. So I think they can go out for a little while. Yeah, we're just a little... Well, 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 you can go for a walk. Go have fun, kids. Yeah, have fun. Did you hear, Mikey? We can go for a walk outside. Come on, let's hurry up. We'll find something to play outside. Be careful, kids, and don't run in the road of cars. Yeah, sure. We will be careful. Don't worry. Okay, okay, have fun, kids. Hope you enjoy your adventure. Bye-bye. We're finally on our own. Oh, that's so good. We can go wherever we want here, there. I think we can walk down the street for now and then look for something interesting on the street. Yeah, Mikey, you've got a lot of energy. I think we can really hit the streets for now. I'm so glad it's such a nice, calm, and sunny day. Hmm, look at this. On what? Look at this. An old abandoned TV set in the middle of the lawn. Yeah, it looks really weird. Who would leave it here? I don't know. Do you think they left him here on purpose? No, I don't think so. It looks like a regular TV, but it's fun. A regular fun TV? What? A broken TV in the middle of the street? That's funny. If he's lying in the street like that, he's nobody's. No one's, which means we can take it and smash it. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna grab and smash it. Mikey, we shouldn't do that. It's not good. Whatever I wanted anyway, it's lying there for no one to see. What am I supposed to put it on my head? Oh, look at me. I'm a zombie with a TV on my head. I need your wires and light bulbs. Mikey, be careful. There might be sharp glass in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hurt myself. Look at me. Anyway, either I'm very strong or this TV is incredibly light. I want to throw it really high on the concrete and see what happens to it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's very dangerous that if glass shards hit us, it's very painful. I'm not hearing you. Well, lucky for you, it must be very durable. See? You were worried. Everything's fine. Yeah, but it's not safe to just throw the TV around. Come on, what's gonna happen? It's gonna blow up and throw debris all over the place? No way. Wait, what's that? Wow, looks like a portal. Is that a portal? I think we should jump in. No, 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 that's very bad. Wow, I guess now you're right. Giving up TV was a bad idea. Let's go home before someone sees us around and thinks it's our fault. Yeah, we should run home and tell our parents. I don't think they'll believe us. I don't even know what to say. We just happened to open a blue portal. Just a normal day. Hey, Dad, Mom, listen to us. Yeah, listen to us. Mom, Dad, come on. What? What happened? Me and Mikey were walking down the street and we found a TV and when we threw it, it fell and a blue portal appeared above it. Yeah, right in our street. What? What are you talking about? It is a joke? No, no, no. He's right here on our front lawn. That sounds really weird. They don't believe us. Not that we don't believe you kids, but blue portals don't exist. Yeah, kids. Maybe you saw something similar and thought it was a portal. No, 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 no. But it's true. There's a blue portal outside. Send him to the store. Good idea. JJ, you need to go to the store and get us groceries. And you can buy Mikey and yourself some candy with the change. What? Don't be sad, Mikey. You can play in your room. Yeah, that sounds cool. JJ, go to the store and buy me candy. That's a great idea, honey. What? You seriously? Here's the money. We're tired and don't want to go out, so you go. Okay, I'll go to the store for food, but I'll buy myself candy with the rest of my money. And don't forget me. Come on, JJ. Yeah, hurry up. I want my candy. But don't eat too much. There's still dinner to be had. You heard Mom JJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'll just get ready and go straight to the store. Thanks for the money. Good luck and bye. Bye. Good luck. Run to the store fast and come back even faster. Hey, Dad. Can I I play in computer? Of course you can. Of course they didn't believe us, so Mikey just went to play on the computer. And they sent me alone to the store to get groceries, as if they couldn't go themselves. And in the end, they didn't play outside and gave me another task to go to the store. I can't believe it. Hmm, what's the new wondrous place? I don't know, but it looks nice and better than our old place. Yeah, it looks beautiful, but where are we? Where are we, honey? Why are you asking me? How should I know? I think we should go out. Yeah, we should find something to eat. I think you're right. We need to find someone to eat and a place to sleep. So where are we gonna find someone to eat? There's footsteps. I think there's someone here. Be quiet. Be quiet, we go hunting. Get ready to sink our teeth into necks. These caves look so strange. There's a lot of clear holes in them. Wow, really? Look at this little mountain with a bunch of holes, like a cave, but not the same. 
think there might be someone living there. We'll have to stalk them and catch them. We'll have food for the first time. Wow, that's a great plan. What a big cave. I've never seen anything like it. What is it? I don't know. It's something very strange. There are holes in this cave. We should see what's inside. Good idea. Let's go. I hope JJ comes from the store sooner. I already want to make a delicious dinner. Oh yeah, I'm so hungry. And I want to get a burger. Oh my god, this cavern is so much bigger. Oh, we have some guests in the house. Hello? Do you want something? No! Enemies! Attack them! What? Attack? Attack who? Us? Why? Now it's going to be our cave. Oh my god, they seem unfriendly. Ah! <laughs> Somebody, help! We're trapped in the basement! Can anybody hear us? Ow! Help! Don't panic, darling! Stop yelling! Otherwise, you'll ruin your voice! Someone has to save us. Hopefully, JJ will come back from the store and untie us. My hands are getting stiff. This is so uncomfortable. Do something now. Dad, you're such a whiner. Your tears aren't gonna help. Help anyone. I'm going crazy. I'm trapped in my own basement. Ah! Three hours later. Hey, everybody. I finally got all the groceries I needed. And why do I have to go to the store all the time when Mikey's always at home and not helping our parents? I'd be lying on a bed somewhere right now watching cartoons. I'm so tired of doing all my parents' assignments. Wow, there's a great view of our cave. It's so cool. Ha ha ha. What? Who's that climbing our tree? Some strange woman. What are you doing up there? Get down from there. Uh, who are you? Another stranger to our new cave? Get out of here. Otherwise, you'll regret coming here. What are you talking about? What cave? This is actually my house. Get out of here. Oh no, he's going in. Alarm. Oh my God. Some psycho wants something from us again. I hope she just walks out of here. At least I don't care about her. Hey, I'm home. Oh my God. What's going on here? Who are all these people? What are they doing on the ceiling? This cave is so comfortable and warm. It's so cool to live here. Oh yeah, we're gonna live here forever. Where are my parents? What are these wild men doing here? Hey, get out of there and go outside. Now, this is my house, not yours, or I'm calling the police. Who is this stranger? What's he doing in our cave? I live here, hi, get out of here. And where did you put my parents? By the way, you stink. What, are we stinky? That was offensive. We need to beat him up and then roast him and eat him. What, you can't eat people. We can eat people. Especially annoying ones like you. Oh yeah, he looks delicious. <laughs> um, now this is getting scary. All right, you're obviously lost, kid. You're gonna be our delicious dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm not lost. This is my home. We'll eat him. Where are we gonna roast him? We're gonna do it outside. Hey, wait. We're all normal people, and people shouldn't eat each other. It's wrong. This is such a stupid guy. <laughs> very stupid and very tasty, dude. No, I'm very bitter and tasteless. You shouldn't eat me. You should eat the groceries I bought. Stop talking, stranger. You're pissed everyone off. Nah! Now we're going to roast it, cut it into little pieces, and eat it. I can already smell the delicious smell of meat. Oh, yes, darling. You always know how to cook well. I would have eaten it raw a long time ago. Oh, my God. What's going on? Why is it so hot? Ah, I'm being roasted on a fire. Somebody, get me off of here. Get me off. <laughs> what a lot of squealing that pig does. And all pigs taste too good to be eaten. I'm not a pig. Hit that door. We have to get out of here ourselves. I'm trying. Wait a little bit. Ugh, that was hard. Hard. It's done. You can go out. This door to the basement was too flimsy. Honey, you're doing a great job. Now we have to deal with those wild men. Look, there's some kind of fire. Help, please, somebody. Ha 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 ha. The louder the pig squeals, the tastier it will be. You're so stupid. I'm not a pig. I'm a human being. A pig in a man's body. Oh my God, they're gonna eat JJ. We will not allow our son to be harmed. Then let's save my little brother. I'm the only one who can hit him. Let's go. We're stronger than them. This is our land. Nah, take that. Oh my God. We're under attack. Moments later. That's it. Go back to your world. Why did you have to hit us so hard? We were actually in a lot of pain. Because you started beating us first and took away our home. They also tried to roast and eat my son. Oh, yeah. This is our house, not yours, you stupid savages. You should be in jail. We should have beaten them even harder. Okay, okay, okay. Just please stop hitting us. We're gonna leave here and never come back. Bye, everybody. We don't like it here at all. Bye-bye, tasty strangers. Get out of here. We hate you. Live in your damp and stinking cave. Oh yeah, we won. Ha ha ha. We will never let anyone take away our home. And this portal will not bring us any problems. Oh yeah, it was so good to see you. Just a little bit more, I would have been completely fried. We're family, JJ. We're supposed to look out for and protect each other. Oh yeah, our family is really strong and cool. Ha ha ha. No one gets my favorite, JJ. Let's go home to eat. There's a reason JJ bought these groceries. One second. We have to say goodbye to our viewers. Okay, we'll eat without you. Mikey, that was so scary. How did they even get you into 
into the basement. They burst into the house and immediately wiped us out. We had no idea they were so wild and dangerous. Okay, good thing we're smart and kind. Ten hours later. A cool new soccer field was built near our house. It was built in this beautiful and large park. Yeah. When our parents found out, they immediately gave us this soccer ball. Cool. Let's hurry up and play already. Let's go. I can't wait, too. Come on, Mikey. I'll go first. No, 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 no. You can't catch me. I'm faster than you. Huh, what? I can even run faster than you, like this. Look, Mikey. There's the soccer field. Wow, that's a big field. The workers have done a good job. Yeah, I've never seen such a soccer field with grass and goals in person. Me too, JJ. I'll beat you easily. Let's go check it out. Whoever wins smashes three eggs on the loser's head and douses him with milk. Oh my god, look! What? Behind you, a castle appears right out of the ground. Oh no. How does it come out of the ground? JJ, what is that? That looks very intimidating. I've never seen such a thing, JJ, for a castle to just come up out of the ground like that. I don't understand how a building that big can come out of the ground. Look, there's an entrance. Mikey, let's get out of here. Wow, let's go get closer. I want to see what's in there. Are you out of your mind? It's dangerous. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, Mikey, why? Look at that beautiful castle. It looks so cool. I see Mikey, but it's very dangerous to be here. JJ, come on. Let's go see what's inside. I'm sure there's something to see. Mikey, no. Mikey. Look, I'm standing here and no one's killed me yet. So that doesn't mean it's safe to be here. Look up. How big are these doors? There's always something valuable hiding behind big doors. Oh my god, <gasps> it's kind of crazy. What is that? I don't know, Mikey, but I don't feel comfortable being here. It's very interesting here. Let's go take a closer look at it all. We shouldn't have come in here, Mikey. This is not an amusement park with scary animators. Look there, JJ. I found some interesting staff. It looks beautiful. Oh my god, is that the heart that protects this guardian? Let's get it. No, Mikey. Don't even think about taking that. Come on. Maybe this ancient staff is a valuable jewel. We'll be rich. No, Mikey, don't you dare touch that. I'll take it. Oh my god, why did you do that? <laughs> this is not a computer game, Mikey. This is not a joke. <laughs> Put it back where it belongs now. No, JJ, I won't. What if the guard gets angry now and kills us? <gasps> What's that sound? Is that a building about to fall on us? I don't know, JJ. I told you not to touch anything. I'm sorry, JJ, but that staff was the one that asked it. <gasps> oh my god. I think the building is about to go back underground. We have to Let's run. Go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Run faster, JJ. You've got to make Hurry it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Run or the castle will crush us. I'm running as fast as I can, JJ. Oh my god, just a little bit more and we wouldn't have made it. Ew. This castle goes back underground. Like he wasn't even here. It's something weird. Jeez, Mikey, the playground's gone. I'm sorry, JJ. I should have listened to you. You did a very bad thing, Mikey. But I have a staff. Why did you bring it with you? It could be dangerous. You're just jealous that I have such a beautiful staff. Oh my god. Let's go take him home. All right, Mikey, we'll take him home. <laughs> Only on one condition. What? We're not going to tell our parents what happened and we're not going to show this. Okay, okay. Two hours later. We're finally home. I thought we'd never get there. I'm tired as a dog. I feel like barking. Do you remember? Don't say anything to our parents. Don't worry, JJ. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Let's go. Hide the staff. Okay, okay. Mom, Dad, we're home. Hello. Let's go straight to our room. Okay. Our kids are back. Hi. Hello. How are you guys doing? How was your walk? Hi. It's okay. We played soccer. Cool. So which one of you athletes won? Mikey? No, Mom. Mikey and I are tied. Cool. Are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? No, Mom, we're tired and we're going to our room. All right, kids, go get some rest. Thank you, Mommy. Let's go, let's go. I told you it was gonna be okay. Let's go to the room. Hee hee hee. They didn't even notice my staff in my pocket. Mikey, what are we gonna do with this staff? I don't know. Let's go pretend we're playing with toys. That's a great idea. Come on, get your staff out. I wanna see it. I want to watch it too and see what it can do. Just be careful our parents don't hear it. Oh my God, he looks so scary. Let's try out what he can do on you. Maybe you're about to get huge. I'm scared, Mikey. What if he kills me? Don't worry, JJ. He definitely doesn't know how to kill. By your power, through my will, abracadabra. Ouch. What? What did you say? Ha ha. <gasps> You've had it. You let me out into the world. Who are you? I am the keeper of the staff. You shouldn't have taken it from me. I'm here to take it back and punish you. No, please don't touch me. I didn't know I couldn't take it. Bye. Now he's unconscious. We'll have to punish him for what he's done. We need to show him what happens to people who take what doesn't belong to them. Hmm. <laughs> Naive little kid thought nothing would happen. I can't do it alone. I'll have to enchant his parents to help me. He lives in a nice apartment, though. They must be a rich family. They don't deny their kids anything. Okay, now to his parents. I will bring them under my God control. Forbid he gets me fired from my job. Silence. Now listen to me. JJ, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Shut up. Now you will obey me and do whatever I tell you. From now on, you are my property. Listen to me and obey my orders. Bum. Hello, my lord. We are your slaves. 
We're here to do your bidding. The two of us can move mountains and drink all the rivers. Yeah, that's right. Well done. Now go upstairs and get the idiot who took my staff. Of course we'll do it. We'll make it fast. Stop talking. Just go get it for me. All right, my lord, we're coming. How I look forward to this hour of reprisal. To see his frightened face, his shaking hands, to hear his frightened, squeaky voice. Where is he? There he is, lying still next to the couch. Just lying there unconscious, poor little thief. Here it is, my servants, the brave child who attempted my staff. We'll penalize him. He'll get what he deserves. Exactly, Lord. We'll give him the kind of torture. That he'll remember for the rest of his life. Stop talking. Take him down to the basement. That's where he'll get what he deserves. Put him in the guillotine and make him awake. Okay, my lord. We'll do whatever you tell us to do. We'll make him suffer. Oh my god, bring him in already. I've made myself a spiteful slave. Can't keep quiet for a minute. We will be silent. Yes, my lord, we will be much quieter at your request. Just get him to the basement. Talking creatures, damn it, bring it. You awake, little buddy? Please don't touch me, I'll do whatever you want. I want you to suffer. Unfortunately, I can't fulfill my wish without touching you. Well said, my lord. Shut up, you will suffer for stealing my staff. Please don't, I'll give him to you, but don't kill me. Should we forgive him? No, of no. course not. See, no one here wants to let you go. That's because you're a little thief who thinks he's a brave little guy. Please don't touch me. I've realized my mistakes. It won't happen again. You can start messing with him. Do whatever you want to do. Who is that? We, we don't, don't know. know. Is he immortal for ringing the bell like that? Yes, my lord. We must punish him too. Sit tight. Don't make a sound. You go get him already, you idiots. Yes, my lord. We will take him and punish him. He can't escape. Yes, my lord. He... Just go. Oh, my Help! God. Stay quiet, I said. It's so difficult with these people. It's the delivery man, my lord. So go and get him. Is that so hard to understand right off the bat? Hey, you. You're the one who likes to ring the doorbell around here? Hello, I'm a pizza delivery guy. Uh... Brought you juicy, hot, fresh pizza. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? We should chain him up just like the little thief. What? And make a good joke out of it. Moments later. Guys, this isn't funny. I hope you're at least tipping me. I'm willing to do that for at least 20 bucks. You're two of our victims now. You'll both get what you deserve. Two victims are always better than one. Finally, we can have some real fun. Please, no, don't Let's touch hurry me. Up. You want to make it fast? Yeah, I'm bored. And you want to be left alone? Please let me go. Look how funny it is. Yes, my lord, it's a lot of fun. You've got a great idea. It's a lot of fun. So who shall we start our fun with? I think we're going to start with someone who wants to finish quickly. Yes, please, just pay me. Let's go upstairs. Talk about what we're going to do so they don't hear. That's a great idea. Let's go discuss it and let them get some rest. Don't be bored. We'll be there soon. What a beautiful day today. I'm energized. What are the plans, my lord? Let them sit in awe for a while. I like that. That's a great plan. I love the victim's sense of fear. It's the best feeling during torture. Okay, you stay here and make sure they don't do anything stupid. Okay, okay I'm going to go get a glass of water. It's sad to sit here chained up. I hope we can get some help. But how can we get help if no one knows about us? Looks like we're destined to be killed after all. All we can do is hope for a miracle and pray for help. Very, very scary. Wait, the delivery guy had a cell phone the whole time? How am I supposed to pass this stupid level in this game? Hello? You've got minutes to live and you're playing Mario? Are you serious? Are you alright? What? What? This level's gonna kill me! I've been trying to get through it for weeks! I'll pass it. I know I will. What's wrong with your head? We could be killed right now. Quickly get out of the game and call the police. We don't have much time left. What? Kill? I thought it would be just a game. Okay, okay, I'm out of the game and I'm calling the police. What's the address? This is it. The moment has come when I can get revenge on my abuser. And we can have some fun with the kids. Make a little fun of the defenseless to feel their fear. Come on already. I can't wait to get started. Let's, Let's go. go. What's up? It's payback time. Everything has to be paid for. And the price for mistakes is double. Please no. We're looking to hire a delivery guy. We really liked him for his smart. Please don't kill me. Okay, no problem. Take him. I'll keep the thief. Well, it's time for us to start having fun. Come here, little man. <gasps> Wait, what's that sound? Sounds like the sound of a police siren. We're about to be assaulted. Did you call the police? Yeah, ha ha. Did you give him the phone? <laughs> I'm gonna get you right now. Freeze, don't move. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. This is the police. Oh no. My name is Sergeant Felix. You will be detained on suspicion of kidnapping and assault. But we didn't do anything, Sergeant. We were just having fun with our friends and- Is that true? I don't believe you. No, they're lying. They bound us against our will. This is my family. They're enchanted! That's what it is! Please set us free! We'll deal with you. I'm coming to open you up. Hey, hey! Thank you, Mr. Policeman! Get out of my way! Let me release the last hostage. Okay, Sergeant. I'm free! Thank you so much! You're here on time! Thank you, Sergeant. I'm gonna run, because I got a customer waiting to give me a pizza. Okay, bye! Goodbye, loser! You'll be in jail for a long time! Oh, what? No! You can remain silent. 
You will be detained until the circumstances are clarified. Sorry, JJ, but you deserve it. That's right. Thank you. Get ready, let's go. No! Please let go. Seven months later. By the way, don't forget to like this video. Yeah, Mikey, that's a great idea. By the way, JJ, what are we doing today? First of all, get off that rung and onto the ground. Okay, whatever you want, JJ. So what do you want to do today? I want to do something nasty. Some kind of nasty thing? Why would you do that? Because it's fun. You're just going to make someone else uncomfortable again. That's not good. You're so boring, Mikey. Oh, our parents are here. Hi, kids. While you were playing around, your mom and I decided to give you a little present. A present? Yes, a gift. We love you so much, we thought we'd treat you. Yeah, you've been on your best behavior for two days. Two days? we've been out of trouble, Mikey. That's a record for our family. That's why we're gonna get you a radio-controlled car. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. I hope you behave and stay out of trouble for another day. Of course, Dad. We'll be good boys. Here you go. Play and have fun. We love you both. There was no red car? Thank you, Dad and Mom. Yes, thank you so much. We'll be good kids. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot. Here's the remote control for this car. Until you've played it yourself, you wouldn't give it to the kids. That's great. We've never had a car like this before. Thanks again. You are the best parents ever. Okay, have fun. Thank you. You kids play. We're gonna play with Daddy, too. Bye-bye. Play nice with Daddy there. All right, JJ. If I'm the one who gave me the remote, I'm the one who owns the machine. I play first. Okay, Mikey, I'm not sorry. Look how fast it goes. Yeah, JJ, the car is very fast. Just need to fully understand the controls. There's nothing to understand. You just press the forward and down buttons. Only a baby wouldn't understand. It's not as simple as that, JJ. Oh, yeah, you're a baby, too. Your car keeps crashing into walls. Give me some time and I'll learn. See, I already know how to drive it properly. Uh, sure. In an open field, with no walls, you're not going to hit anything. And now you've hit the wall again. Just let me drive already. No, JJ, I haven't played yet. Just a little more and I'll let you drive. You'd sooner break the car than play with it and give it back to me. I'm fine driving the car. It's gonna be okay. Okay, what did you do, Mikey? It fell in the hole. I told you to give me the controls. You don't know how to drive a remote control car. What are we supposed to do now? It could have broken from that height. I don't know, JJ. Maybe you can reach in and get it. No, you drop the car. You get in that hole. No, I'm definitely not going in there. I'm scared. You go first. I don't care. It's your fault you go. I'm not going in there. Do whatever you want. Okay, then I'll go first, but you're coming with me. Okay, okay, I'm on my way to get you. Oh, there's a door with a bunch of forbidden signs. Warning, danger, stop, and so on. That sounds kind of scary. Maybe we shouldn't go in there. Forget the car. It's a gift from my parents. We have to find that car. So what if it's a gift? We're gonna get in trouble again. Why are you always afraid? It's your fault for dropping the car. You have to fix your mistakes. As my big brother, you're supposed to help me. Go over there and get the car. You make me so nervous. You're always afraid of everything. Stop talking, JJ. Start looking for our car. Okay, okay. This room looks like some kind of vault of books and chemical potions. And there's the car that Mikey dropped. But it's not the car that interests me most. It's this potion. It's the most important thing here as I see it. I might be the smartest and strongest person in the world if I drink it. It's kind of tasty. I want more. Guys, I don't advise you to drink unknown liquids. It's okay for me. I'm strong and smart. Now we have to take this car and go to Mikey. And I'm already feeling energized. I want to do something bad. It's going to be fun. You want to do something nasty? I do. Okay, let's go. Hello again, Mikey. I found our car. We got to get out of here. Okay, where's the car itself? Show me that. Here it is. You don't believe me? Oh, cool. I believe you, JJ. You've been in that room for a while. I was worried. Now let's get out of here. Now I'm gonna play with this car. Yes, of course. Only now it's nighttime and we have to go home. You can play tomorrow if you want. Of course I do. I've never played it. Let's hurry home to our parents. I hate them. Okay, let's go home. Why do you hate them? Uh, what? I didn't say anything. You imagined it. Five minutes later. Okay, we're a little late. Don't say anything about the car or our parents will get mad. We're not gonna tell them anything. They're stupid and won't understand. You're kind of rude, but okay. Let's say we just just played a long game and didn't realize it was dark. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, stop talking and let's go home. Mom, Dad, hi. We're back from our walk. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hey, kids. How's your car? Did it break down? No, here's the car. Nice and clean. It's all right. That's good. It costs too much money. Try to treat it with care. All right, Dad. This car is awesome. Yeah, the car is great. I haven't played it at all, but it's really cool. And the fact that I haven't played with it is a shame. It's because of Mikey. That stupid TV that almost ruined her. It would be nice to kill him so I could play with the machine more. What? What are you talking about, JJ? He's just tired, so he says he doesn't have to. Okay, whatever. It's getting late. Go to bed, both of you. I hate sleeping. Let's go to sleep, JJ. You must obey us. Why don't you both go to bed and I'll keep playing? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're going to bed. Don't fight. You two stupid adults. It's okay. I'll get you soon.
soon enough. JJ, they heard you. Did he call us stupid? What happened to him? I don't know. Maybe he just overheated in the sun. Okay, they're not mad at you. It's so great that they didn't find out about the car. We won't get punished, which means we had a good day. We've also been in that weird pit. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. Yeah, that's cool. Mikey, why don't we kill our parents? What? What are you even talking about? Let's kill them. They annoy me, and they keep ordering us around. I don't like it. No, that's not good. That's not the right thing to do. These are our parents. We love them, and they love us, too. You're as dumb as they are. You can't kill anyone. I could kill you. You're crazy. What happened to you? I'm not the crazy one. It's the whole world around me is crazy. You too, Mikey. <laughs> Looks like I knocked him out. That's all right. We should kill him first, then the parents. You should have listened to me, Mikey. We could have taken over the world. This TV man is so heavy. He's been eating his burgers and getting fat, but it's okay. I'd love to fry him up. Maybe he'll come to his senses and take my side, or maybe he'll die. The main thing is that no one will see me and my plan will be perfect. It's very strange. Where's JJ dragging Mikey? We told them to go to bed and they went back outside. They're not supposed to be out at night at this hour. Look, they're just kids. They'll play. They'll settle down. It's no big deal. I was the same way back in the day, just trying to have fun. When I was a kid, it was impossible to keep track of me. No, darling, it's not okay anymore. JJ's been acting really weird today. He was saying things to himself. His head was all smoky. We should follow them. Okay, let's go. Did you even hear what JJ said about us? He called us stupid. He also wanted to kill Mikey. I thought he was joking. Let's go get them and take a look. Is he joking or does he really want to kill him? Okay, whatever you say. I gave them a car to keep them out of trouble. And now trouble is happening to them again. Three hours later. JJ, this isn't funny anymore. Please let me out. I'm your brother. I'll give you this car forever, but please don't kill me. You think it's the car? Come to my side. Help me kill my parents. I won't do it. I love them. Why do you want to do it? I'm the one asking the questions here. Either you come over to my side or you'll be swimming in this hot lava. I'm not going to try to kill my parents. They love us and they love you too. They gave us a car. I don't want to hurt them. So that's it? If you won't pick a side, then you're against me. No, JJ, don't do it. Too late, Mikey. You made the wrong choice. JJ, please don't. I love you. Pull the switch. I don't want to burn in the lava. In five minutes, the cage will sink into that hot lake and you'll be fried like a steak on a griddle. Fried, Mikey. That sounds delicious. Please, brother, don't kill me. I'm so young and handsome. I haven't accomplished anything in my short life. Yeah, your life's really gonna end quickly. Why have you become evil? We were playing so well. I hated playing games with you. You're so annoying. Always taking away my toys. Now you've become my own toy. And you know what? I really like playing with you now. How good I am. How smart I am. I'm getting hot already. Standing in this cage is torture. God, why do I have to do this? That's the kind of stupid death I'm gonna die today. Oh, I hear some rustling in the bushes. Is someone coming to rescue me? Who would even be out here at this hour? We thought we'd follow you around. Thought you were playing like this. But they didn't play. JJ's crazy and messing with Mikey like that. You and I have been talking a long time. Maybe we should hurry before Mikey gets fried in a cage. Yeah, that's a good idea. We need to get him out of the cage. Let me out of here already. The soles of my shoes are starting to melt from this temperature. And yes, I'm very happy to see you. Okay, I just need to figure out how to get you out of here. Maybe we should pull these levers up. No, you just have to open the door to this cage. Oh, really? I could just open the door to this cage and walk out of here? Okay, thank you for saving me. You got here just in time. But what could have happened to JJ to make him so crazy? I'm sure it's all your computer games that have that effect on you. Yeah, I think it's the computer games. We should take away JJ's console and computer. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm glad you ended up here, but now we have to catch JJ before he comes up with another trick. He was gonna kill me, and then he was gonna kill you. He's very dangerous. So think about what to do about it. You're adults, you're supposed to be smart. We're not that smart. Your dad's still watching SpongeBob. So what? It doesn't make me stupid. We'll all go into the bushes and call the police. They'll decide what to do about JJ. What if he goes to jail? Maybe he'll go to jail, or maybe a mental institution. It doesn't matter. Five minutes later. Hey guys, this is gonna be a good video today, huh? I gotta go check on Mikey. He's probably cooked to medium rare, or maybe well done. I know how to roast meat. What? The cage is empty? How did Mikey get out of here? I thought I locked the cage. Or I didn't lock the cage. He just opened the door and walked out of here. How awful. I forgot to lock it. I also told everyone they were all dumb when I'm not smart myself. What a shame. Yeah, JJ. You're a complete idiot. Not locking the cage was really, really stupid. What? Parents, how did you get here? We just followed you. Yeah, your plan isn't that brilliant. Yeah, JJ, you screwed up. Oh, now that you've all come to me, it'll be easier for me. I'll kill you all at once. Let's see who's stupid. Calm down, kid. I'll put you all in the same grade and believe me, I'll have a lock on it for sure. Oh, what's that? The police? Did you call the police? Of course. 
So what? You didn't expect us to just call them and have them grab you? You're not such a genius. Oh no, I didn't think of that. What do I do? That's it. You're going to jail. No, I'm your son. Help me. I was kidding. All right. Who's the criminal? That red boy is a criminal. He wanted to kill us. All right, hold it right there. Hands up or I'll shoot you. Don't make any sudden movements. I'm going to kill you too. What did he say? He wants to kill me. You're going to jail, boy. You're a criminal. So, uh, is this your son? Yeah, but he wanted to kill us all. Kill? How about we kill you? Would that make you feel good? Oh my god. Looks like it's over. I'm not going to be able to take down this stupid family. Shut your mouth right now. How often did he threaten you? He does this a lot. That's not true. Shut up. You have the right to remain silent. So be silent. All words spoken by you will be applied to you in a court of law. Yeah, and then they put him in a mental institution. Three hours later. Why do I live in such a horrible house? Why? Hmm, it's not a house, it's a barn. I have no money at all. And my job said they don't need me anymore. Oh, why is fate so cruel to me? I'm very hungry. Oh, no. But there's nothing in my fridge but green potatoes. Oh, hmm, I'm gonna go take out the trash. Maybe I'll find some food in the trash. Oh, what am I thinking? This poverty is driving me crazy. I'm not going to look for food in the garbage. I'm never gonna do that. I'm gonna get a job and food. I can do it 100%. <gasps> Who are these beautiful girls? Oh, it's very noticeable. That's what I'm telling her. That purse is too cheap. Oh, so beautiful. I want to meet them. I'll say what the girls like. Goddesses, hey, you girls are beautiful. Can I meet you? That's what I'm telling Shh. you. Wait, some poor guy wants to meet us. Huh. Don't talk to us, Popper. He thinks a ragamuffin is worthy of our beauty. Wow. Funny. But I just wanted to meet you both. I want love too, even though I'm a pauper. Oh, I have to admit, I'm not going to get anywhere in this life. I should just accept the hopelessness of my situation and live out my last days in my barn. Today is just the most beautiful day. The sun is so hot, I want to go for a swim. Look over there. I'm so glad I have such an awesome pool for days like today. Yeah, oh my god. What could be better than a swim in the pool on a hot day like this? I don't think there's anything better than a swim in the pool today. What am I talking about? I live in such a great house. I should appreciate my life and enjoy every moment of it. Oh, what's that? Buy a yacht only today. Hmm, for one million dollars. Wow, it's so cheap. I'm gonna buy this boat, it's a dime a dozen. I'm gonna take my friend Mikey on a road trip. I think he's gonna love hearing this from me. I'm wondering if he still lives in that poor neighborhood. I hope not, because I wish him well. It's time to take my favorite $150,000 car and go to Mikey's. Oh, I still can't get enough of this car. It looks very stylish, I love it. Anyway, I gotta get going. I still have to stop by to buy a boat and then go look for Mikey. Hmm, I still need to stop for groceries and also hire a crew for the yacht. And I also need to make an itinerary for our boat trip. Where should we go? How about the island? Oh my god, I've got so much to do. By the way, the bus we need should have gotten here a long time ago. Oh, what lovely ladies. Why don't I meet them? Oh, look over there. Wow, this car is incredibly expensive. What a cool car. Who's driving? Whoa, who's that guy? Whoa. Hmm, lovely ladies. Would you both like to ride in my cool car with me? Oh my god. You're still asking? I say yes. Of course we want to ride with you. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let's go for a ride. What's your name? We're sisters. It's gonna be mega cool. Sorry to talk about it, but not this time. I'm in a hurry right now. What? Bye-bye. How so? Get back here. What a jerk, but so handsome. We remembered you. Huh, girls are so easy to fall for pretty things. Uh, does Mikey really still live in that old dilapidated house? Hmm, well, we should check to see who lives here. It'll be amazing if this is Mikey's house. Mikey, it's your friend JJ. Open the door, I'm here to visit. Hmm, oh! Hey! Mikey, what's up, buddy? Things are getting worse, JJ. Oh my god, what happened? Life is downhill, no food at all. Uh, come on in the house. Uh, okay. It's not really a house, it's my shed. Yes, your house is in a very dilapidated state. Yes. Why don't you have any money, Mikey? I've been fired from my job, it's a nightmare. I'm living out my last days here. Uh, Mikey, come on a road trip with me. Uh, traveling? Yeah, a yacht trip. Are you sure about that? I'm all set, but I'm missing the most important thing, you. Hmm, stay here to die or go on a sea voyage with my best friend. Oh my god. JJ, let's go. Cool, my car's outside. Uh, JJ, can I drive your car? Hmm. I'll be careful, I promise you. Oh, of course you can drive my car. Holy turtle. It's gonna be a breeze, huh? Yay! It's been so long since I've driven a car. Oh! Thank you, JJ, for letting me drive your car. Oh, you're welcome. Let's hurry up. I'm so excited. Hurry up, hurry up. Wow, JJ, that car looks very expensive. That's the way it is. I can't believe I'll be driving such an expensive car right now. Well, time is of the essence. Let's hit the road. <gasps> what are you so surprised? 
surprised about? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. What do you think of the interior of my car? One steering wheel here is worth more than my whole life. How much does it cost? Well, I bought it at a discount, just under $150,000. Stop! What? Oh, I can already feel the sea breeze. Mikey, look over there. There's our yacht. JJ, it's just an incredibly big boat. There's also a lot of food. Oh my god, will I be allowed to eat there? Yeah. JJ, how much money did you spend on this? A lot of money, Mikey. A lot of money. Wait, why? Well, uh, it's a lot of money to you. It's nothing to me. JJ, you are unbelievable. Uh, I'm jealous of you, but in a white way. That's good to hear. By the way, the yacht has swimming pools. Wow, I can already see one of the pools. Oh. Whoa, it's so beautiful here. I'm glad you like it here. <laughs> Do you want to go for a swim? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yay! The water is such a nice temperature. Nice! Wow, this pool is heated. Come on out, there's a lot more to see. Is there anything more interesting here than a swimming pool? Yes, of course. And this isn't the only pool here, so you'll have time to swim. Wow, is this man the captain of a ship? Yeah! Oh, hello, I'm the captain of this fine yacht. Hey! Since you're here, we can go sailing. Hmm. An unforgettable voyage to different islands awaits Ooh. you. The journey will be long enough to keep you entertained in the play cool. area. Cool! Sounds awesome! There is also your sleeping quarters. Nice! Enjoy the journey. Thank you! I want to see it all soon. Then let's go. Yes, you're right. Let's take a look at the playroom. I'm very interested. Wow, there's a pool table in here. Well, I was expecting a little more, but it's fun too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed too. Well, let's take a look at our sleeping quarters. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, it's pretty cozy in here. Oh, hmm. What do you think, Mikey? Well, it's much more comfortable here than at my house, huh? We've got a long way to go. Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty tired. Let's rest here for a while. Yeah, and later we'll go to the pool. Two hours later. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. Our boat is already on the high seas. Now Mikey and I decided to lounge in the pool. He's just lying there. Hello again, everyone. We're here relaxing like normal guys with money. Normal guys? You're on my money here on vacation, remember? Of course I remember. It's just a joke. Look how I dive. Wow, Mikey, you're so cool. Of course, I love swimming. Why can't we swim off the side of the boat? What's going on? There's some kind of explosion. Everybody off the ship. We got a breach in the deck. Save yourselves. Where's the hole? In the center of the deck. I won't give you your trip money back. Goodbye, everyone. Everyone, save yourselves. Oh God, Mikey, we are drowning. Our yacht is sinking. What do we do? Is our boat sinking? We have to save ourselves. There's a life raft on the boat. Did he say life raft? Yes. Then let's get to the dinghy before our boat breaks in half. This dinghy doesn't look very promising. JJ, that's something at least. Just why did the captain of the ship sail on his own if there are boats like this here? I don't know. Why did the captain jump off the ship first? He acted like a coward. Why would he save someone else's life when he's got his own? Because it's his job. He's the captain of the ship. Okay, we survived survived a sinking ship. What do we do next? I don't know. JJ, look, our boat's going down. Oh my God, Mikey, we got out of there just in time. I think we should just wait for help. We have no food, no water, no compass. We have nothing. We're stuck in the middle of the ocean. Our chances of survival are slim. Maybe we should get to some island and start surviving there. But where do you see an island around here, Mikey? There's nothing but vast ocean beyond the horizon. Three hours later. I'm so thirsty and hungry, I'm dehydrated. Are we on some kind of island? We should look for people. Mikey, Mikey, wake up. We're on the island. I can't do it alone without you. Wake up already. We have to find people. Huh? What? I fell asleep a little bit. Where are we, JJ? We're on an unknown island. We should explore it and look for food. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go explore the island. Hopefully there's electricity and we can call 911. Oh, Mikey, did you hear that? It's the cry of a sheep. There's a village near here. Yeah, JJ, you're right. It's a village on an island. Yes, the village. Mikey, we're saved. They'll feed us and help us. This is so great. Yeah, that's awesome. I hope they know how to make burgers. I'm pretty hungry for today. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm having some kind of deja vu with this island, though. It's like I've lived here before. All these houses look familiar. Let's go, JJ. Maybe you dreamed it in your sleep. Maybe, but so far I don't see any residents here. Where's everybody gone? Maybe they're hiding from us. I don't want to survive on a desert island. Oh, JJ, look, it's the islanders. Yes, they're women. We should meet them. Girls, look, it's TV man. He's so handsome. Hey, girls. Oh my God, look how beautiful he is. Are they sure it's me they're talking about? Of course, you're the only gorgeous one on this island. Give us something to eat and drink. Will you shut up? Don't you see? I'm talking to the handsome man. Yes, don't you dare open your filthy mouth. Here. And with you, handsome, let's talk more. Oh, you're all so beautiful today. We jumped off a sinking ship and came here. Could you give us some food and water? We haven't eaten anything in a long time. Food? Of course. Come with us, honey. We'll give you anything you ask for. Will you stay with us longer? Of course, girls. 
JJ, I'm so lucky. They all love me so much. Have a seat here. We'll give you something to eat, dear. We have fresh meat and meat pizza for dinner. We really like to eat meat. Help yourself, my boy. So cool. I'm honored here. That's weird. Why didn't they like me? I'll eat with Mikey then. He's not going to eat all this anyway. But these ladies cook very good food. I've never seen anything like it on the mainland. Eat up, honey. You need to put on weight. You're getting skinny. Hey, what's that green guy's name? My name is Mikey. Thank you all so much for this delicious food. Oh, he thanked us. What a polite young man. Listen, ladies, we have nowhere to sleep. Could you put us in a house somewhere? Of course. Come sleep with us, Mikey. Nah, we'll give him his own place. He's a guest. He's such a beautiful guest. How nice of you. I didn't expect such hospitality from you. Thank you very much for everything. Anything for you, Mikey. We really like you. You are the best girls in the world. If you get lonely tonight, you can call us. We'll bring more food. Thank you, of course, but we're both so full. You're a delicious cook. Thank you so much. Good night, Mikey. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Thanks for everything. Mikey, let's go to bed. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Oh, they're coming back. Stop, you stupid speaker. You're not allowed to sleep in there. But why can't I sleep there? Because we made your bed somewhere else. Follow us. We'll show you where you belong. Okay, okay, let's go take a look. It's right there. This is where you're gonna sleep. Just what you need. A house made out of newspapers? Are you serious? Put me in a normal house. Yeah, that's a little much for my friend. We don't know anything. All the houses are occupied. Oh, really? Are you suggesting I sleep on the floor? Uh, yeah, sure. Good night again, Mikey. Yeah, good night, Mikey. We should get going. We got a lot of things to do tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Good night to you all. Thank you again for the whole house. Well, JJ, it's sad that you got a bed on the street, but it's okay, you'll get over it. I don't think they'll listen to me. I gotta go to bed. Good night. Good night, Mikey. He didn't even try to ask them. Friends, have you ever slept on the streets in a tent? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to lay down in this pile of papers. It's a shame the way these girls treat me. I tried to be polite, but they liked Mikey for some reason. All right, girls, let's take this tasty little beauty out back to the fire. We've fed him. It's time for us to taste him. I've already built a fire. Take him over there. Be quiet before he wakes up. Ha ha ha, I hope it will be very tasty. I love to eat people. The next day. Oh my god, my back hurts from those papers. But I'll get over it. Good morning, friends. Did you put a like under this video? By the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I can't look at these papers anymore. I gotta go check on Mikey. Maybe he's still asleep. Of course, in a house this comfortable, I'd sleep forever. Mikey, wake up. Let's go for a walk. Stop sleeping, Mikey. Mikey, don't sleep. It's daytime. Get out of the house. Why does it smell like smoke and campfire? Is somebody barbecuing? Oh, there's girls making fire. Oh, hold on. They're burning Mikey. They want to eat him? What? We're on Cannibal Island. What are we supposed to do? Oh my God. The next morning. I decided to swing on the swing set, but I almost threw up. I now use the swing as a regular bench. Then why were you swinging so high? Come down, Mikey. I just wanted to see how high I could swing. Always got to know what you're capable of, JJ. Who doesn't make mistakes doesn't drink champagne. Understand? Mikey, what champagne? You're just a kid. JJ, it's just a saying. You're missing the point. Learn the proverbs, silly JJ. Oh, Mikey, look. Parents are out. Where are they going to go? I don't know. Let's ask them. Hey, Dad, Mom, where are you going to go? Hi, kids. We're going to go to the store. Yeah, we're out of salt. I can't live without this season. Is there anything you need to buy? Uh, sure. We'd like chips, coke, and burgers. And nuggets, too. Okay, we'll buy it. Kids, don't take long walks. When it gets dark, go straight home. It's dangerous outside. We'll be back soon. Okay, we're off. Be good boys. Don't be naughty. Bye-bye. Don't miss me. Bye-bye, Mom. We'll be waiting for you. And don't run in the roadway. You could get hit by a car. Of course. We better not play in the driveway, Mikey. Oh, JJ, look. Some kind of truck. I've seen it before. Oh, my God. It's a skibbity toilet scientist. Okay, these two options are the right ones for my trials. <laughs> Who are you? Come here, sweetie. <laughs> hey, put my mom back. Get your claws off him. What are you doing? I'll take this one, too. Too good a test subject for my experiments. <laughs> and you kids get out of here. What's going on? Where is he taking our parents? Hey, stop. Stop the car. Give us our parents. I hate you toilets. JJ, what are we going to do? That stupid toilet took our parents. I don't know. Usually it's us who get kidnapped, not our parents. I think we should call the police. They'll probably help us. The phone is at home. Let's go home quickly. Why does the skibidus need to take our parents? He said it was for some kind of experiment. Oh, my God. He's going to put our parents on pills. What's gonna happen to them? I hope they get out of his captivity. They are strong. I hope they get out too. Come on, JJ, call the police. Yeah, but I forgot the police number. JJ, how could you forget the number? So remind me, is this the smartest one here? The police number is 911. Dial faster. Okay, 911. Hello, this is the police sheriff speaking. It's your emergency. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Our parents have been stolen. Some skibidi toilet scientist grabbed them and took them away in a truck. 
I will test on you my own serum that causes extremely high levels of aggression. I'm so smart! <laughs> These levers will send electrical impulses to their brains so I can reprogram them to think what I want. And what do I want? I'm sure it's something nasty. <laughs> I'll add a little bit of this, except I forgot what that lever does. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Now they're gonna want to eat their children. What a genius I am. Now, bam, all of it. Now they're cannibals. Ah, uh, my head hurts. Me too, it hurts so bad. My, my greetings, our master. master. We await your orders. We'll do whatever you tell us to. Everything is going exactly as planned. Both of you, you'll go home pretending nothing happened. The next morning you have to eat, eat your babies. <laughs> <laughs> I should shut down the virus. I'm gonna need it. Three hours later. You know what I mean? Our parents were stolen. They were stolen this morning. Yeah. They were stolen over there by the bus stop. Right there? Where am I pointing? Yeah, right over there. It was done by a Skybitist scientist. Okay, did this toilet have any special markings? What did the truck look like? I want all the details of the crime. The Skybitist had a mechanical claw from a toilet bowl. He was half bald, gray-haired, glasses. So he drove off in a rusty truck. That's all we remember. All right, great. Your testimony will help the police investigation. What? Mom? Dad? You've been stolen! Hello, children. We came from the store. Hey, everybody. My husband and I arrived a little late. What? Why did you call me here then? But our parents were really stolen. I don't understand. You were stolen by a Skibidi toilet. How did you get back? How is that even possible? No, kids. It's not funny at all. I've got a lot of things to do. I don't want to play with you. Please forgive our children. They were just playing. We'll talk to them. They won't do it again. Thank you for coming. Well, then keep a better eye on them. I better get going. Have a good day. Goodbye, Sheriff. Again, sorry for the inconvenience. See you later. Bye-bye. Mom, Dad, we saw how you were grabbed and taken away in a truck. No, 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 none of this is true. We were just in the store. It's all good. Now go to bed, both of you. You don't remember anything about the scientist Skibidi? It's late, baby. We'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Go to bed now. You two are weird. Are you sure you're okay? We're fine. Go to sleep, or you'll both be punished. Okay, 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 we're going to bed. Just don't swear, please. It's like our parents have been replaced. Yes, they are very weird and rude. Maybe that scientist did something to them. I don't like it. Yes, we should be wary of our parents. There was some more steam coming out of their heads. Something's not right. Okay, we'll decide what to do tomorrow. Now let's go to sleep. Okay, JJ, let's go to bed. We really have to be careful. I don't think this is going to go away tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Good night, Mikey. Good night, JJ. And I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I just hope for the best. Here are some of our favorite and delicious babies. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to take a bite out of them. I agree. I'd love to chew on them. Okay, here's the deal. You take the green one, I'll take the red one. We take them downstairs and cook them up. Honey, let's do this as quietly as possible. I don't want them kicking. Let's smoke them and fry them. It'll be delicious. I never liked that green boy. It's heavy. Let the meal begin. Well, 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 I thought your name was JJ. I don't really care. He asked too many questions, called the police. We can't leave him. I'd love to eat him for breakfast. I can't believe I ever loved that disgusting child, that whiny little baby. And I called him my son. How awful. <laughs> now they're not going anywhere. I've never eaten human meat. I don't know what it tastes like, but I think it's going to be delicious. Nothing tastes better than these babies. My made-up recipe calls for another two-hour wait for them to cook. Drizzle with a little apple cider vinegar, pepper, and smoke over low heat. Honey, you're like my chef. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Of course it's going to be delicious, especially if they keep spinning like that. What? Where am I? I'm frying on the steak? What's going on? Is Mikey asleep? We gotta get out of here. Do our parents want to eat us? That's why they're so weird. It's awful. Honey, I was wondering about the spices. Did you remember to salt them? Salt? Oh yes, salt. I really forgot to salt them. I'll run home and get it. Come with me. Help me look. I don't remember where the spices are. You're the one who does most of the cooking in the kitchen. Okay, darling. Okay, I think they're gone. We gotta get out of here. How I sweated as I lay over that fire. I can't believe what our parents wanted to do to us. Mikey, wake up. Get out of here. Hey, uh, what? What am I doing on the fire? Mikey, our parents wanted to eat us. They turned into Hannibals. We have to get out of here now. What? They were gonna eat me? What's this nonsense? That's what they wanted. They took us asleep and started roasting us. Before they hear us, we need to run now. I don't believe you, JJ. My parents couldn't have done it. But they did it. No, no, we have to go to them and ask them. Are you crazy? They'll grab you again and roast you. You can't get out a second time. My mom loves me. That's impossible. It's possible, baby. How dare you climb out of the fire? It's time to finish them off now so they don't run away. Knock us down. What 
are they talking about? Now we're going to cut you. Mikey, run. Those are not our parents. Come on, hurry up. Now I believe you. They want to kill us. What did I tell you? Stop right there, both of you. You two little pieces of meat. Mikey, run. Run for your life. Run. I'm running. Ow, I've fallen. Get up quickly. Run. Run to the police station. Stop right there. Stop or it's going to get worse. We're your parents. Don't run. They are not our parents, Mikey. Run as fast as you can. I'm running. Don't even think about stopping. I'm scared. I can finally surf the internet. I'm so tired from today. Thefts, robberies, I'm sick of it. My mom told me to study to be a computer programmer. No, I'm stupid. I went to work as a cop. It's so boring here at night. There is nothing to do. Policeman, open up, please. We need help. Our parents are chasing us and want to eat us. Can you please help us? You know, the second time's not funny. This is not a joke. Our parents are chasing us with knives. Okay, kids, get out of here. I have a lot of work to do. No, 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 no. It's true. We're in danger. They're coming. Yes, please help us. We don't go out to die. I will not participate in your games. Go home. It's late. What are we going to do, Mikey? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Ha, ha, ha. Now we're going to cut you up. What? Who are you going to cut? Policemen. They chased us all the way to the station. Arrest them. Okay, don't worry, kids. Hands up, don't move, or I'll shoot. No tricks here. Ha, gotcha? No, 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 Sheriff. We didn't mean any of this. We were just playing around. I don't believe you. Slowly walk with your back to the next room. You are charged with attempted murder. That's what you go to jail for. You two are murderers. Wow, that's so cool. You'll be in jail for the rest of your life. Try to kill your own children. What animals you are. Both in the cage. Fast. Hands up. Don't put them down. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney and one phone call. If you cannot pay for a lawyer, one will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Just calm down. Now you just sit tight and keep your head down. And you children, I apologize to you for not believing you the first and second time. I'm so sorry. My negligence could have gotten you killed. What's next for our parents? We should cure them. Yeah, you're right, kid. The first police station needs a doctor immediately. We got two crazy people here. Okay, we're on our way. Don't worry, kids. We'll cure your parents. Did you hear that? You'll be normal again. Eating people is bad. You'll realize it soon. Woo! I already said goodbye to my life while running here. I hope our parents get well. Two hours later. Don't worry, kids. I know that doctor. He's the best psychiatric specialist in this town. Oh, we're glad to hear that. Here's the doctor himself. We've been waiting for you. Here I am. Sorry for the wait. Where are your psychopaths? There they are in the cage. They wanted to slaughter their own children. Please cure them. Oh, it's a messed up case. But that's okay. They'll become normal people with my special healing drops. Wow, I think this is it. Nah, get it. Psychopathies, drink this. Become normal parents so that no more people get slaughtered. And don't eat them. Okay, doctor. Wow, Mikey, they're healthy again. Our parents are back. Now they don't want to eat us. That's awesome. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks again. You've been a great help to us. Well, I think it's time to let your parents out. Yeah, I think they're safe for now. Of course. Mom doesn't have that evil smile now. Children, please forgive us for everything we've done. We don't remember things very well. You don't remember? You don't remember trying to stab your kids and eat them? You're going to jail for this. I'm sorry, but we don't remember anything. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I forgive you. Oh, that's so cool. We're not going to get hurt. Let's go home already. Yeah, JJ, let's go home. I'm tired already. We've been running all night. Of course we were tired. Go home and tell me how we tried to eat you. Yeah, you can tell us later. Again, we're sorry about all of this. It's no big deal. You're our parents. We love you. Let's go home. JJ, come get us. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right behind you. Phew. Seven months later. I was the only one who could carry that basket all the way over here. Wow, Mikey, you're so strong. Yeah, JJ, because I eat meat. My island friends have given me a great meat diet. There's 10 pounds of meat in this pizza. 10 pounds in pizza? The pizza itself doesn't weigh that much. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. You just can't cook and you don't know anything about cooking. I eat a lot of meat. Would a normal person be able to climb up here? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't. I did because I'm superhuman. Super poopy man. Can you jump from that high? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Too easy for Mikey. Okay, JJ, let's go home. Let's play Xbox. I hope you're stronger than me somewhere. Whoa, come on. That's a great idea. Let's play Minecraft, shall we? Yeah, it's been a while since we played this great game. Oh, you hear that? Someone's cursing. Let's go see. By the sounds of it, you can hear a fight. What's going on in there? You're horrible people. Freaks with speakers on their heads. You have to think about putting a speaker on your head. Hear me, you. You pathetic TV. Let's go out. I'll smash your face in. Yeah, you're nothing. You're going down with one punch. What's going on? Nah, get it. Nah, Beat him, honey. Stop this madness. Why are our parents are fighting? Come on, come on. You're gonna knock him out. Nah, get it. That looks awesome. You like it? Another punch and another. You're missing every punch. Did your mom teach you how to fight? You're gonna answer for my mother. And here's a right uppercut. No! Phew, that was easy. Go learn how to fight, kid. What did you do? That's my dad. Why? Dad? Daddy? God, it was so easy. I'm so cool. Yes, 
my love. You are so strong. I love you. Mikey, get out of here. We are no longer friends with this family of stupid monkeys. Watch your filthy language, or you won't be able to get up a second time. A second time? I just tripped. You're weak. Tell that to your wife. Now get the out of here. What idiots you all are. Go on, go on. Get out of here. Get out. Mikey, let's go. You don't need your buddy, JJ. JJ, it looks like we're not going to hang out anymore. But it was our parents who had the fight, not us. I don't care. You and I aren't friends anymore, JJ. Goodbye forever. Yeah, Mikey. And your son is an orangutan, just as dumb as his daddy. You're all stupid. I'm going to punch your stupid wife, too. They're finally gone. What just happened? Mikey got mad at me. What did you start the fight about? Mikey's dad said I was fat. I'm not fat. I'm going to the gym. It was very upsetting to hear that. Then your dad stood up for me. Yes, it was very uncultured of them to say that. Yes, it was very frustrating. Let's go inside. We'll talk there. All he did was call you fat and you started punching each other in the face? Yeah, that's where it all started. Okay, JJ, it's getting late. Go to bed now. What? Is it late? Yeah, JJ, look at your watch. It's 9 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, go ahead. Go back to sleep. But why don't we talk first? What's there to talk about? Mikey's family are rude. They have no social skills. Yes, darling, you're absolutely right. Thank you, sweetie. And thanks for sticking up for me. I love you. Oh my God, there they go again. <laughs> Pooh, that was a good night's sleep. Mikey's not talking to me. Do you guys fight a lot with your friends? Tell me in the comments. Now I need to talk to my parents. I want them to reconcile and be friends with Mikey's family again. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Oh, good morning, JJ. How'd you sleep? It's fine. Good morning, JJ. I have a headache from last night. Oh, let's get some rest today. Spend some time together, maybe? Okay. Mom, Dad, you have to make peace with Mikey's family. No, 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 no. Are you crazy? What are you thinking? No, 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 no. That's impossible. They hurt your mom and you want to put up with them. Whose side are you on? anyway. I'm on no one's side. I just want to be friends with Mikey again. No, you're not friends with Mikey either. We don't hang out with that family anymore. That's enough about them. Let's go to breakfast. Yeah, I made breakfast for all of us. Let's go eat. I'm not having breakfast. Mikey's my friend. I'm going to go make up with him. Okay, do whatever you want. I'm going to go and do it. Bye, everybody. Oh, I think I see Mikey. I should go over and talk to him. Our families were the ones fighting, not me and him. I hope he realizes it too, and we will be friends like we used to be. Although it's Mikey's mom who's fat, not mine. Mikey, Mikey, good morning. Can we play together? Did someone say play? Oh, it's you, JJ. We're not friends anymore. Go away. What are you talking about? We were friends. Not anymore. If you don't leave, I'll hit you. Get off my playground. Mikey, please listen to me. Let's make peace. You're not my enemy. Ah! What are you doing? Why did you hit me? Ow! Mikey, stop, please. Go home before I beat you up like my dad. But it was my father who won the fight. Ouch! I warned you. Don't come near me again, JJ. I'm having fun playing here without you. I'm not gonna listen to a nerd like JJ. This is so cool. I don't understand what happened. Maybe it's his parents' influence on him. What should I do? I want to be friends with him again. Who do I play with now? It's annoying. Three days later... I'm so sad without Mikey. We had such a good time together. Where's Mikey now? Maybe he's sitting at home. No one in their right mind would go out in this weather. I remember that day as if it happened now. He also left his pizza here. I have to go to his house, talk to his family calmly, try to make peace. And you guys, put likes on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then you will never fight with your friends. My parents are adamantly opposed to talking to their family. They're so stubborn. I hope it works out for me. I'm gonna have to take the bus to Mikey's house. I'll measure them. Wow, Mikey has such a huge and cool house. He's never invited me over to visit. I hope they didn't go anywhere. Otherwise, I didn't come here for nothing. Okay, I gotta make a call. Mikey, Mikey, come out. I have to ring the doorbell. Maybe they're on the second floor and didn't hear me knock. What's taking them so long? Maybe they really left home. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. Or maybe I should just go inside. Maybe they're in trouble and I should help them. Of course, it's not nice to break into someone's house without asking, but I didn't get an opening. Not my fault. Mikey? Mikey, where are you? Please come out for a minute. Here I am. You shouldn't have come here, JJ. Now we're going to get back at that little guy. Yeah, we will. So why'd you come here, JJ? Uh, I've come to peace. We feel very bad about what happened the other day and we apologize. Why are you so close to me? Now we're going to beat you up. Wait, what? No, 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 don't. I came to apologize. It's too late to apologize, little man. It's too late. Ah, oh, my head. It's splitting in half. Where am I? What happened? A little joke on you, JJ, but that's not all. Yeah, JJ, there's more. You're stuck here forever. This is for what your family has done. Is this some kind of joke? Please let me out. Yeah, we're just gonna let you go like that. Now, now, huh? Please let me out. My parents will be looking for me. Mikey, we're best friends. How could you do this? Let you out? We'll kill you. Ha! What are you going to do? This is bad. I thought we were joking. Why don't we let him out? No, of course not. We're not letting him go anywhere. We're not kidding. We'll kill him and bury him. What? Don't, please. JJ's my friend. Don't kill him. I thought we were going to have a little joke and let him go. Why? This is bad. Please, Mom, Dad, don't do this. 
Go to bed, Mikey. We'll take care of this without you. If you're really going to do this, you're going to regret it a lot. My parents will find me. You're as dumb as your parents? How do they even put up with you? Or they just don't like you. Nobody's going to help you, JJ. My parents will help me. You're going to jail. You hear me? You are a family of maniacs. What am I supposed to do now? I shouldn't have come here. I shouldn't have listened to my parents. I'm so stupid. We'll lure JJ's parents out and then we'll take them down. We will never forgive their rudeness and ignorance. With this note, they will come to our lair on their own. These idiots are too dumb to fall for that trick. My plan is genius. And now, run! Huh, I'm so smart? I'm sneaky? I'm the best. Who's making a phone call? Probably some neighborhood kids playing pranks again. What? A note? Oh my god, JJ's been kidnapped. What did you say? JJ was kidnapped? That's terrible. What does it say? It says they're holding our son hostage. We have to go to him or he'll die. What? Mikey's parents did it. We have to save our JJ. I won't forgive them for this. Okay, honey, get ready. We're going to save him. Three hours later. And here's their house. JJ's being held here. They're gonna be in trouble soon. Honey, like the good old days, you and me on dangerous military missions? Oh yeah, honey. Moment of truth, it's either us or them. Oh yeah, we're gonna tear their house down to the ground. No stone will be left unturned. I love it when you're angry, honey. Let's get started. No one would dare raise insults or raise a hand against my family. Say hello to my little friend. What's going on? Stop! How can you do this? This has gone too far. We used to be close friends. This all started over one insult, and we're ready to shoot each other? This is wrong. Living in friendship and harmony and loving each other is what is truly beautiful. Make love, not war. Mom, Dad, do you remember the good times you used to have together? You used to joke around, play games, go to barbecues together. That was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Please forgive us. Yes, we were wrong. We went too far. Please forgive us. Yeah, you're right, buddy. We've all gone too far. We're sorry, too, for shooting up your house. I enjoyed shooting. Shh, honey. We apologize for all of our transgressions, too. We are very sorry for the fight we had back then. Yes, please forgive us. We've all overreacted and done bad things. I hope we don't do it again. Yes, and now we need to see our son. He needs to be let out of his cage. Yeah, kidnapping our son is just too much. I'm sorry? Five minutes later. Oh, I can hear someone's footsteps. Have they come to take me down? God, I'm really scared. And so my life came to an end. Bye, everybody. And here they are, my captors. JJ, we're sorry. We're going to set you free. Mikey, Dady, Momi, it's so good to see you all. Forgive us, JJ. Yes, please forgive us. You're the one who wanted to make peace with us all first, but we didn't listen to you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I take no offense to you. Oh, I'm I'm so glad to hear that. Forgive us, JJ. We're not fighting with your parents anymore. Yeah, we're friends again. Forgive us, too, for not listening to you. Yeah, JJ, I'm sorry. Phew, so glad it ended this way. No one will file a police report. We're still thinking about it. How nice to see you all together again. Now we can play again. This is so cool. Can you believe your parents shot up our house? What, really? Can I have one, too? No. No. Okay, whatever. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't fight with your friends. Yes. Live in peace and don't fight. Yes, bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Mega but yes, your style. You know where did we dress and ran out of Italian? New chain busting, peep the medallion, pull your own troubles out by the gallon. Her name ain't Lotta, but she from the south. Her name ain't Ruby, she got a big mouth. Putting it in, she's sticking it out. Putting it in, she's sticking it out. She likes also one in a hole, just like a golfer. If you ain't leeching, what can you offer? Thank God it they just be talking.